Watch your line! <laughs> Eric just hooked up to a sailfish. He's finding it right now. There it goes, baby! Look at this thing go. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful sailfish coming right at me. Oh, yeah, there she goes. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now Whoa! I'm fishing my way across yeah! the entire country. There you go. Fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. All right, guys, so we're out here today in Boynton Beach, Florida, with kind of the all-star crew right now. We got Eric and Matt from Deep Blue Kayak Fishing. You guys know them if you watch any of my videos. So the best offshore guys here in South Florida. We're with Victor, you guys might know as Land Shark Fishing on YouTube. Killer channel, guys, check him out. And we're with Fred York, Pedal Pirate. He's got a new YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. And we're about to get out here. We finally got a break in the weather. We're gonna get out here. It's supposed to be no wind for at least half a day. And we're hearing about yellowfin tuna. There's definitely blackfin tuna. It's sailfish season right now. So we're gonna get out there and see what we can get into. Oh man, well, the surf was a little tricky. We had to time it right, but everyone got out all right. Let's see if we can't go find some fish. Now we're getting some live bait from Ken here at Extreme Baits. He's kind of our go to bait guy. If you're in Southeast Florida, check him out. He'll hook you up. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, guys, so we got a little celebrity guest today. This is Victor from Land Shark Fishing. What's up, guys? Relatively new channel on YouTube, but he's blowing up. His content is killer. Catches everything from big sharks from the beach to amber jacks offshore to snook inshore. You name it. Uh, if it's in Florida, this guy's catching it. His videos are incredible. Check him out. Uh, you don't have a ton of kayak experience, right? But you've been out in kayaks. It's my second time kayak fishing offshore. Then the first time was with Deep Blue. Was with Deep Blue. They're the guys to go with. So his second time fishing offshore from a kayak. We're going to see if we can't get in some sailfish or tuna or whatever else may be out here biting. We'll see. Nice. So Ken here from Extreme Baits went and did a little fishing of his own after he gave us bait. Got himself a nice 40 pound wahoo already. Nice fish, man. Thanks. That's what I'm after. Right, so we got our live bait. Your goggle eyes, kind of bait of choice down here in Southeast Florida. Really can't go wrong. Everything will eat them. They're not very cheap and they're hard to catch, but it's worth it. So we're gonna get one out now. We're in about 90 feet of water. And we're just going to basically be trolling between about 100 and 200 feet back and forth, zigzagging. So you want to hook the first hook through the goggle eyes and nose, come out the other nostril. And then you're going to put this other one loosely up into its side. I like to put it into the lateral line. It really helps it kind of stick. And you don't want that wire to be tight so the fish can still freely swim. You want to kind of pedal away from them as fast as you can because they'll uh, sometimes they'll try to hide under your boat because they know that they are on the menu. Watch your line! <laughs> Eric just hooked up to a sailfish, he's fighting it right now. I saw a great hounding on the surface, heard him yelling. Sailfish, oh! There it goes, baby! Gorgeous fish on the line. Look at this thing go. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful sailfish coming right at me. Oh yeah, there she goes. These are just one of the best fish to cut you out here, sailfish. But you always gotta keep your eyes on that sailfish, man. That bill comes at you, ain't gonna feel good. And this is why the action hat is awesome. Probably would've missed all that. This one is not happy. Got to turn around, go after him some. She's getting tired out now. She may be done Jump! Oh no, here she goes again. And just when you think they're done, they usually give you a little bit more. Don't do it, don't do it. Come on, girl. 
Gorgeous fish. Woo! This is what it's all about right here. Such a rad fish, dude. Gorgeous fish, isn't it? Release that gal, revive her through the water. Eric's gonna pedal her around. Keep water going through her mouth, through her gills, and make sure she swims off strong. Nice work, dude. Thank you, man. Oh, fish on. Okay. I had two baits out. This one was further down, and uh, staying down is not coming up. Oh, yeah, it's pulling out drag. Fish on. Oh, oh. Wow, bro. Came off. Wow. Oh, I feel like a heavy fish. And it is gone. Not really sure what happened. It was pulling drag and the hook just pulled. Huge mahi! He just spit my bait and swam right by me. We got a sweet mahi right below me. Here he comes. You see him down there? You see him? There he is. There he is. Eat it. Eat it. Here we go. Oh my god, he touched it! It's like 30 feet down, I can see him. Come on, eat, eat. There he goes. He keeps touching it. Alright guys, so I'm down there vertical jigging, and I hear Victor over here screaming and yelling and hooting and hollering. Uh, no idea what he's got yet, but he definitely has something in his kayak. We're gonna run over here and check it out. Nice! Alright, slide him right there. Nice job, man. All right, so Victor, land shark fishing. He just landed a mahi. I think that's his first mahi from the kayak, right? Yep. Not too big, but then the boat right next to him also got a mahi. So we're gonna kind of hang out around this depth, around 200 feet, see if we can't get into some mahi too. They are a blast to catch. Even the smaller ones, they're just super acrobatic, super strong for their size. And there's always a chance hooking into a big bull. He's so green, I'm not gonna touch him. Here's what we're gonna do, boys. Hey, let it jump again. I don't wanna lose another fish so you can get footage. All right. Like yesterday. Fred here's hooked up to another one of these small mahi. Nice, got it. Uh oh, uh oh. Watch those hooks. <laughs> He's in. Huh? He's in. Dude, I saw my cut bait was pulling drag. Super profound. <laughs> hey man, they don't call me Captain Guggen for nothing, boy. some weight on my line. I thought it was Eric's bait. I thought we had wrapped around each other and I've got a mahi on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah. 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 He did not know he was hooked, man. He's still like green, bro. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I cannot believe that. We've been seeing these mahi everywhere and then my line started acting real weird, went sideways, and uh, I thought I had wrapped around Eric's line. Sure enough, I had this little mahi. She did not even know she was hooked. And uh, once I reeled her in, she freaked out in the boat. I actually got a hook in my thumb. That did not feel good. Beautiful fish, this is dolphin fish, mahi, dorado. They've got a, a variety of names. Um, but absolutely beautiful. You can tell she's all lit up right now, yellow and green, blue spots. Oh man, just a little girl. We call these cow mahi or chicken mahi even. You know, just a little gal, I mean, probably like four pounds. Uh, but there's often the big bull mahi, the big males. They've got kind of a big square head, big block head. A lot of times they'll be right with these gals in the area. So uh, we're gonna keep fishing, looks like yeah, Matt's got Mahi under his boat right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this girl in uh, 
Eric's fish bag and then get another bait down, see if we can't get some bigger ones. Too much fun and such a beautiful fish. All right, let's get this girl on ice. Look how they change colors. And all of a sudden she's silver and blue instead of that yellow and, and bright green. Crazy. Oh yeah, I'm eating good tonight. Oh yeah. Good job, man. All right guys, our buddy Jesse Minoski just met up with us. Uh, the wind has picked up, it's getting a little rougher out here, but he is hooked up to a sailfish. Oh yeah. Jesse Minoski, sailfish at the boat. He's got the leader. It came off? Well, he got the leader. It's an official catch. It's always a bummer. I told you, man, it's never a gimme, dude. Those fish are tough to land. Yeah, you got a leader, man. You caught your first sailfish from a kayak. Nice work. That was a nice one, too, dude. Y'all are the star. Eric's the star of this show. Rolling. He's the only one who caught a fish bigger than that. <laughs> Going? Rolling. <laughs> Stars. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, super fun day offshore. I mean, we came out here with high hopes. Uh, it's been super windy. This is the only day in the last two weeks we've been on to get offshore. Bunch of cold fronts, but despite the weather, despite the conditions, Eric got a nice sailfish to the boat, had a bunch of cutoffs. We all got at least one mahi. I mean, not much size to him, but super fun day offshore. Uh, Deep Blue Kayak Fishing guys, check them out. My favorite guys in South Florida. You guys, if you watch my videos, you've seen them plenty of times, but they do charters. They will put you on some fish. Whenever I need to get some fish, they're who I call. And Victor here from Land Shark Fishing. You guys need to check out his channel. It's a lot newer than mine, but it's exploding right now. He's putting out some killer content. Hope you guys enjoy the episode, and I'll catch you on the next one. The, my favorite thing with mahi, honestly, is mahi fingers. Yeah, I can. I, I don't do think they're big enough. Black and good. You might I be able to call them knuckles. And you can probably, and you might have knuckles. To put some breadcrumb on them to get anything out. Of you could probably I just fillet the whole knuckles. fish and like that's the finger. I'm pretty sure we're gonna. Do, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to <laughs> combine fingers. both of ours to make a taco. Put your blue runner in there.